Hello, Happiness Abounder, and welcome back. So as we wrap up our chat all about the five things that I believe you need to have a healthier and happier relationship, I really wanna pull everything that we've talked about so far in this series together. So the respect, the trust, the honesty, the clear expectations, all of those come together for this final piece, which is alignment in all directions. Now that may sound kind of weird, like alignment in all directions, what does that mean in terms of a happier relationship and how does that embody all the other things we've already talked about? But I promise it does. So enough hype, let's go right into it, right? <laughs> so alignment in all directions. What I mean by this is that alignment in where you wanna go, the things that are important to you, your values, and those things that most people fight about in relationships, being finances, religion, political views, all of those pieces that if you are not in alignment, things can go south really quickly. Now, granted, I don't mean that you have to be the same, right? You don't have to have the same religious views or the same political views or whatever that may be. You just have to be in alignment. So what I mean by that is you have to be vulnerable, right? You have to trust your partner enough to say, raise your hand and say, hey, I believe this and I think it might be different than what you believe, right? Then you have to have the relationship of respect, respecting yourself and your beliefs, them and their beliefs and the relationship to say, this isn't gonna make or break us if we view differently on this. We can respect one another and just be in alignment on like, if this was to come be something that would come between us, what's our path? That's the clear expectations. And then the honesty of that, right? The honesty of raising your hand and saying, I trust you enough to say that I actually don't agree with that. And the honesty enough for yourself to not fully take on your partner's points of view. Ooh, <laughs> that's a biggie, right? Can If you have a different point of view, are you willing to stand up, raise your hand and say, I think a little differently than you, but I trust you enough to tell you that. I respect you enough and I respect myself enough to bring it up. And I wanna be honest with you in all of these things so that we can have clear expectations of what we need to do moving forward so we can be in alignment in all directions, right? Smooth there, I know. <laughs> Pulling in the whole week worth of content right there in a very small sentence. So that said, how do you have alignment in all directions, especially if you view things differently? I, of course, only have my own relationships to really pull from but my partner and I see things differently for quite a few things, actually. We are not of the same religious background or belief. We have come more into alignment for our political views, but we were at some points very different. And we also have been at different point of views regarding kids and finances at certain times as well. So the, the big four, we all, we have experienced some misalignment, if you will, but it's not really misalignment in more of a, we just have differing points of views. And as we have been honest, as we have been trusting and respectful of each other and set those clear expectations, we've been able to find that alignment in our direction and where we're going together. Biggest one for us has been finances. If you're a longtime listener of the show, you know that I love Dave Ramsey. And in my mental head, my board of directors, the person who I go to for finance advice is Dave Ramsey. And I love the debt-free model. We have been credit card debt-free before, and we are actually, we just finished building our house about a year ago, and it went over budget, and so we had to put it on credit cards. And we will be debt-free again this month. So, super excited about that. But that said, it wasn't always that way. I've always been a cash person, my husband had always been a card person and he had he came into our relationship with debt from his previous marriage. I came into our relationship with no debt and also no credit. And we've really had to come into an alignment and have open discussions about what do we feel is financially viable and sustainable for both of us. And that doesn't mean that we're like go into mad amounts of debt. I mean, it's only when it's necessary. And it's funny because 
he's really come around in the last 10 years, like big full circle change here on the debt free model and paying things with cash. And if it's not, a, it's not a deal if you don't need it and all of those pieces. And I've come more into like the understanding of how to do budgets and how to make sure that we're meeting each other on this model. Also, I need more money in my personal spending than he does. So I was like, the minimum I want is $200 a month for me to spend on anything that I want. And for him, he's like, I could go with 50. And I'm like, no, it needs to be fair. You get 200, I get 200 because I'm not going down to 50, right? So we've had these very clear, and I say that it was less abrupt than that. It was much more conversational and collaborative. But that's an area where we differed in a lot of different mini facets of finances. And we have really come into alignment of our direction and our path with our finances together. As well as, here's your $200, here's my $200. I can spend it on what I want. He can spend it on what he wants and there's no judgment and we're alignment in that direction as well. Political stance. We can respect each other's opinions. Uh, religious stance. We respect each other's opinions, views, and beliefs without imposing or battling for our own, right? Allowing each other to be ourselves and knowing that that doesn't affect or change us as a person. We just have different beliefs about where we might end up in the end. And as long as we spend our life together and we're good people, we both believe in that, then we're solid. And you heard me talk about the clear expectations on like having children, making sure you're very clear in alignment of that piece. Now, but here's the thing. That's like my own, my own relationship experiences here, but you can't just set alignment in your directions once. It's got to be an ongoing conversation. If your expectations or your thoughts, viewpoints on any of those core areas shift slightly, it's time to say, hey, can we have a talk? I just really wanna walk through this kind of stuff and tell you how I've kind of changed my mind here and just make sure we're in alignment and we're going the same direction together. Because the second that you don't bring those things up, you're out of alignment. And when you're out of alignment in your relationships and you're not having these solid communications, that are filled with love and trust, respect and honesty and clear expectations for yourselves. You don't have a happy and healthy relationship, in my opinion. So that said, how do you get that alignment? It really is those just honest communication. Hey, I kind of thought I've had my opinions changed a little bit. And I have this one the most in the, honestly, in the religious space. Um, more spiritual than anything else at this point, where I'll have these thoughts and I'll have these things come to me and I'm like, hi, that kind of changes my opinion on some things. And then I'll raise that up to my husband. And what's funny is he has a completely different religious viewpoint. And so when I say those things, it's like, okay, cool, whatever you're going to do. And, but we know we're in alignment, right? And we're moving together in all of these multiple directions, all these facets of our lives. We're in alignment with what we expect from each other and we continue to have those conversations. Now, again, I don't know if this is the end all be all. I can't say that our relationship is perfect, but I can say that without a doubt, I do have a happy romantic relationship with my partner and it has come down to these five things. So if you have a chance, be sure to go back to listen to episode 471 all the way through this episode to get those five things in detail and again, it's not fully about your partner. It's also about you and having that alignment, that trust, that respect, that honesty, and those expectations. So I hope that this theme week resonated with you. If it did, I would love to hear so. And I'm sure the people around you would too. So you can let me know at happinessabound.com or you can leave a review for the podcast at Happiness Abound blog on Facebook and on Apple Podcasts also. The reviews help other people join our Happiness Abound community and honestly, who doesn't want to be happier? So help other people find it by leaving a review and let me know how you liked this episode. You can also shoot me a DM on Instagram at happiness underscore abound. So I'm going to leave you with this today. I hope that you have a wonderful week embracing and embodying these five things for a happier, healthier relationship and above everything else. Remember, you are capable of happiness abound.